um, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels. And here are your angel card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you. Leave behind anything else. But most importantly, enjoy the readings and have a really positive week. So Taurus, let's check out your cards for this week. And from the Teacup Tarot deck, your overall energy here is the Nine of Coins. This is lovely. This is you enjoying the results of your hard work. This is you taking time out to enjoy some little luxuries, to treat yourself and to rest and relax. So a lovely overall energy for you this week, taking time out and enjoying some little treats which are richly deserved. Your help or your hurdle, we've got the Ace of Pencils. Now, the Aces are all about new beginnings, and the Ace of Pencils brings with it new ideas and clarity. And as you can see from the card here, the first few attempts have missed, but now... She's hit the target. She knows what to do. She's tried different things. She's found the clarity that she needed with these new ideas. She's kept going. And now she's got just what she needs to move herself forward. Your guidance here is the two of teacups. Now, this is all about discussions and conversations. This is about clarity again this time in communication. So we've got clarity and new ideas here and clarity in communication here. This card reminds you to listen as well as speak and just to make sure that you've got a really clear understanding of the other person and they clearly understand you. How can we help ourselves? We've got the lover's card. This is lovely. The obvious meaning of the card is meeting someone very special. But generally, the meaning of this card is about careful, balanced choices, making decisions from the heart, doing what feels right for you, going within, seeing what feels right, taking your time to look at all your options and choosing the best one for you. So pulling it all together in races, the Knight of Teacups. Now the Knights in the deck are all very fast moving energy. That's why they're all on motorbikes. And the Knight of Teacups comes racing in and just says, stay balanced, stay emotionally balanced. Don't be taking too much on this week. Have your rest, have your relaxation, just Go steady. And your final outcome card is the Queen of Coins. Now, the Queens are all authority figures in the deck. And the Queen of Coins brings with her the beautiful qualities of practicality and resourcefulness. If you need anything from the Queen of Coins, you're going to get common sense. You're going to get practicality, like I said. She's very, very, the energy that goes with this card is very home focused, very family focused. And the queen goes out of her way to make sure that everybody in her orbit has their needs met. So it's a lovely card of home, a family, common sense, practical, sensible decisions. And it's lovely that it's followed on from the lover's card here because you're clearly going to do that. With the Queen of Coins, she makes her choices. She knows what she's doing. She can manifest what she wants. And she's extremely grounded and sensible as she makes those choices. So just to summarise the teacup tarot cards, take a rest, relax, enjoy some treats for a job well done and hard work. New ideas coming in new conversations coming in. Make sure you have clarity here with the new ideas and clarity in your communication with other people. Make your choices and decisions from the heart. Do what feels right for you. Just go steady this week and practicality, resourcefulness, common sense, 
and a focus on home and family and loved ones will serve you well this week. So let's just clarify with the time to shine deck. The 18 of wisdom says, don't let any old habits of thought or any self-doubt or any fear or guilt hold you back this week. Trust your intuition. Time for you to fly. The seven of thought says it's time for you to focus on your needs and your own plans this week. It could be new plans. Closing the door on the old ways, learning from that, realising, taking with you all that experience. And now it's time for you to move forward with optimism, focusing on new plans and new ideas. The two of emotion, we've got a double message here. It's the same card from a different deck. So here are the angels and the universe saying, have you got this? Pay attention. Positive outcomes to discussions, clarity in communication. This is about talking things over. It's about clearly understanding one another. The seven of wisdom is about you making this move forward. This is the equivalent of the chariot card in the traditional tarot. This is you making your move forward after you've thought things through carefully and moving forward with balance and with discipline. Now, we were talking about staying balanced here. This seven of wisdom card, here's your movement forward, but it's done with thought, consideration and common sense. The Eight of Wisdom says, do what you know is the right thing to do. This is you following your, making your decisions from the heart, making wise choices and fair decisions. Follow that moral compass and think things through carefully. And your final outcome card just says, if there's any drama or anybody else having a drama, leave that where it is. Avoid that. Focus on where you want to go. Stay positive and keep walking towards the sunshine. If it doesn't concern you or there are conversations that you don't need to be part of, leave them where they are. So an absolutely lovely week for you. Sound decision making doing what you know is right. A wonderful movement forward and clarity of ideas clarity in conversation and a wonderful dose of common sense, practicality and resourcefulness. We'll see you through this week. This is a week for you to move forward with optimism and make sound and wise choices. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button Thank you for doing that. It makes a huge difference to me. And also you will get notified when I do the next readings for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.